three men selling stolen voting cards who all say they work for the election committee in Horst province. This is Bashir. He had 4,000 cards on him and was selling them to parliamentary candidates for up to $50 each. I'm still a member of staff for the election commission and I can make use of that. There are districts where the security is bad and the observers cannot go there. If we wanted to take a ballot box away, we can do that. It's not only me, everyone is committing this fraud. Another part of Host province and another source of stolen cards fraudulently filled in by the very people employed to protect the election process. Everyone sees that there is fraud going on. If you give $5 to the election staff, there is corruption going on everywhere. There is no honesty in this. The third card seller said he'd already arranged to pay his colleagues in the polling stations to allow his cards to be used. You can give money to bribe staff working in polling centers in the capital and in the districts. I have spoken with them already. In Kabul last night, we were given the chance to ask the chief electoral officer if he was concerned about the level of fraud being committed by his own staff. Any evidence of actually offering uh, sales of, of the voter registration cards kept, I think I would repeat the same thing I repeated for our polling staff. The IEC is fully committed to take action, disciplinary action, towards those sorts of malpractices. How much of an impact could just one single vote have on this election? I think every single vote uh, cast by every single eligible voter, Afghan voter, will have an impact on the election results. One vote could make a difference, uh, either for a tie, either for making a candidate lose or making a candidate win. In Peshawar, northwest Pakistan, the printing presses have been working overtime on posters for Afghan parliamentary candidates. Away from those working on official business, sheet upon sheet of fake voting cards ready to be sent across the border. The Pakistani printers are sure their forgeries are very good. So we asked the electoral officer if he could tell if they were fake. Which one's fake? Which one's real? With your expert eye. I would call this one a real one. This one's a real one? Yes. And that one's a fake one? For me, it looks like a fake one, yes. I'm afraid they're both fake, so it's difficult, isn't it? Perhaps an unfair it's question, because the chief electoral officer is not a technical expert. But it did demonstrate just how sophisticated the fraudsters have become and how difficult it will be for the observers to stop them. Sue Turton, Al Jazeera, Kabul.